In this video I'm going to show you how you can change the base of the logarithm on your TI-30XA. It appears that um, people are most interested in the binary logarithm, that is log base 2. So we'll base this example on base 2. However, it can be applied to any base that you would want. Um, unfortunately, there's no simple built-in way of doing this. So you have to know a little bit about logarithms, so we'll quickly go through that. Fundamentally, the problem that logarithm is solving is it's basically reverse engineering this statement. It's saying if we have a number n, what power x when we raise some number 2 will it give us this n? So this is like an inverse statement. It's saying we know what n is and we want to find out what power is this num little number here raised to will give us n. Um, by default a calculator's base is 10 so this little number here is 10 by default and unfortunately you can't change that default. Um, the definition becomes obvious when you look at um, say we take log 10 of 10 this is obviously 1 because t putting this in here 10 raised to what power equals 10? Well it's obviously 10 to the power 1 so this will give you what you need and I'll show you how to do this on this calculator so you get a grip of logs basically you type in the number 10 and then you press log and that gives us one as expected. This calculator does things in a kind of backward sense. You put in the number you want to take the logarithm of first. Okay, so let's look at the uh, logarithm change of base rule. So the rule basically states mathematically, I'll explain this so don't worry if it looks complicated, basically log of some base b of x, x is what we're finding the logarithm of, equals log c of x over log c of b. So you see these two b's match up, and these two c's match up, and the x is what you're looking for. You're finding the logarithm of. So it's quite simple to substitute in. So let's set c equal to 10, that's the default of the calculator, and b can be what we want. So if we want log 2, then we make b 2, if we want log 3, we make it 3. So we can rewrite that expression in a nice simple form. So what this is basically saying is that log b, so log of something we want, um, is equal to log 10 over log 10. The calculator works by default in log 10, so we can do log of any base purely in terms of log 10. That's quite important. Um, and x's match up, this is what we want, so if we're looking for log 2 of 8, 8 would go in for x, and 2 would go in this b here. So let's just do an example of this. Um, let's find log 2 of 8, right? It should be immediately obvious to you that this is of course going to be 3. So like n is 8 and the base is 2, so really we're solving this. 2 to what power equals 8? Well 2 cubed is 8, and so we've got cubed here, so x is going to be 3. Okay, let's show you how to do this on the calculator. So what we're doing is log 10 of 8 divided by log 10 of 2, substituting for the b, substituting for the x. You see this is b here and x in here. Um, it's a good idea to do this in two steps. It'll make a lot more sense if you do that. Um, so let's put this in the calculator, log 10 of 8. So remember we're pressing 8 first and then log, by default it's base 10, so we're getting 0 0.9. So write 0 0.9 down, do this in two steps otherwise you'll get confused and then if we do um, we're wanting 2 and then log this gives us 0 0.3 so we're getting 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.3 which is obviously 3 so that's how you change the base of a logarithm that's how you can do log 2 hopefully this has been helpful to you and cleared up this problem thank you very much for watching